Hey there tacos, welcome back to Tacos Virtual Mode for another midweek devotion. Today we're going to get into a really good story to kind of talk about your uniqueness and how you can define self-worth. So if you're ready for that kind of message, stay tuned and enjoy this week's midweek devotion. Here we go. So as I mentioned, today we're going to get into a story, but today's story doesn't necessarily come from the Bible. But however, this story is going to talk about how you can build up your self-worth and try to understand where you are in this world and where your talents may lie and the things that you can do and be powerful. Because there's a lot of things out in our world that are constantly having us judge ourselves compared to other people. And that might not necessarily be the best way to go about most of the interactions that we have with people and ourselves. Because we need to be able to find for ourselves how we can identify with our strengths and with our weaknesses and how we can best utilize the uniqueness that each and every one of us has. So today we're going to go through the story of the cracked pot. While we go through this story, there are a few things that I want you to kind of be thinking about. And the first is which aspects of the story resonate with you and why? The second is how can this story help you reshape your inner story? And the third one is who or where are your water carriers in your life? And you'll understand that question as we get to the story because it's going to talk about a water carrier. So I want you to be thinking about those things as I read through this story. And the story is called the cracked pot. Here it goes. There once lived a water carrier. Every morning, as soon as the sun rose, she walked from her home to collect water in two earthen pots that hung from one long pole that she carried across her shoulders. One pot was perfectly formed. The other, although it was the same size and shape as its counterpart, had a crack in its side. So whenever they returned to the water carrier's house, it was always only ever half full. For years, the water carrier repeated her journey to and from her house, collecting water from the river. As the years passed by, the crack pot created a story in its head about its level of worthiness and inability to properly perform the job for which it had been created. Eventually, the pain and shame that it felt about its own perceived imperfections became too much for it to bear. So one day, as the water carrier knelt beside the river and began her usual task of filling the pots with water, the cracked pot found its voice and said, I am so sorry. For years and years, I have watched you fill me with water, and I can only imagine what a fruitless task it is for you. As whenever we return home, I am only ever half full. While in comparison to the other pot, it is perfect, and it rarely loses a single drop of water along our long walk back home. But me, I am far from perfect. This crack in my side, not only does it cause me so much hurt and shame, but it also must cause you to want to get rid of me. Surely I am only making this long, arduous job each day that much more difficult. I can understand if you are thinking of getting rid of me and replacing me with a much more perfect formed pot. The water carrier listened to these words with both care and compassion. The cracked pot story of unworthiness and shame was not one that she had recognized. For this was not the way that she thought of the pot. She knew about the crack, but did not see it as an imperfection, or as something that was made less worthy than the other pot that hung from her shoulder. Gently, she turned to the pot and said, On a return walk home, I want you to look up into the side of you. Far too long, it had seemed like you had been looking down, comparing yourself to others, and not noticing how you and the crack that you have in your side have brought untold beauty into my life. Puzzled, the cracked pot wondered what on earth her words meant. She seemed to be suggesting that this story of lack and unworthiness and shame was in some form way faulty. As to how this could be, it could not be comprehended. However, the cracked pot trusted the water carrier. It occurred to it that in all the time that it had journeyed with her, she had never said a harsh word, never scorned or ridiculed it, but had always shown a sense of gratefulness and care when filling it with water. So on the journey home, it heeded the water carrier's words. It looked up and it looked out. 
In its former depressed state, it had not noticed that along the path that they had traveled every day, there was a dazzling array of beauty, color, and life. The water carrier, in her wisdom, knowing of the crack on the pot side, had sprinkled seeds along the path. These seeds were duly watered every day as a result of the crack in the pot side, and the path that had once been barren and devoid of life was now resplendent with an array of beautiful wildflowers. Now the crack pot understood. Now the crack pot began to see itself in a new light. Now it understood that indeed it had been telling itself a faulty story. If its experience of being a cracked pot was going to change, then it would have to change its story that it was telling itself. So that is the story of the cracked pot. And we have this quote here from the storyteller, Jeff Mead, that he puts it as this way. We need to consider how our lives are shaped by the stories we tell ourselves about, who we are, and what we are, because knowing our stories is an essential prerequisite to claiming our own authority and to making our unique and authentic contribution as individuals. So this story can help us fully understand that what we are telling ourselves and what we see ourselves as may not and probably isn't the full story of our scope and the full story of how we can use our gifts and talents. So friends, this week, when those negative thoughts come into your head about yourself and your abilities, I want you to kind of think back to this crackpot story and maybe reposition the way you're thinking about yourself and your abilities and how you can use those talents and those gifts to be like the crackpot. Utilize them however you need to because I know that this world out there needs you and considers you as an essential ingredient into this mix, just like the crackpot was. So that is our midweek devotion for this week. I hope you enjoyed this story. I hope you uh, consider thinking about in ways in which your life might be like the crackpot and how we can kind of tinker with the way that we think of ourselves and think more along the lines of what our gifts and talents can do for this world. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up today's midweek devotion and you will see us again on Friday with another tacos teaser as we end the school year with uh, Friday tacos teasers. So until Friday, see you later folks.